The door was locked. Hello? This is George Stobart. May I come up? I'm sorry. This is a very inconvenient time. Come back later. I know that's you, Mr. Lane. I need to talk to you. Mr. Lane, does the name Annette mean anything to you? I have no idea what you're talking about. I need to talk to Madame Dubois. I'm sure it can wait. Mm-hmm. If you don't let me in, I'll tell the police about your interesting connection to the security company. Uh, all right, then. Come up, but make it brief. Dear Lord George, you have the worst timing. Is this a bad time to accuse you of lying? What do you want? I've just come from Vera's security. So? What do you know about the owner of Vera's security? I've never had the pleasure. Tell me about Annette. Who? From Vera security. I don't know any Annette. I'm surprised you let your conquests keep souvenirs. Oh. Where did you get that? Annette lent it to me. Quit waving it around, for God's sake. Can you tell me anything about the owner of Vera? Annette told me he's some angry-looking Russian chap. Come on, Lane. Tell me about Annette. All right, all right. I had a fling with her, okay? Now keep your voice down, please. And you two fixed the security for the robbery? No, nothing like that. Anyway, the, the fling was a mistake. She turned out to be rather needy. I believe you. You're not a criminal, just a lecherous old man. Less of the old, if you don't mind. As it happens, I make a lot of women happy. Especially when you leave them. Okay, Lane. Take off. You can't tell me what to do. You want me to show Bijou this picture? All right, all right, I'm going. You haven't heard the last of me, Stobart. Promise? And give me that photo. If Lane was telling the truth, that meant that Annette was lying. She said she'd never met the owner and was very keen to get rid of me. I wondered if she was hiding something interesting in that dark office. Are you going to introduce yourself properly? Pleased to make your acquaintance, madame. My name's George Stobart. Call me Vision. Hello, young man. Such a delight to have a new visitor. What can I do for you? I'm from the insurance company. I'm so sorry for your loss. Henri, my poor sauvage. He died in his prime. Could I just ask you a few questions? Well, why not? A little company might just pep me up, as you Americans might say. Your record player seems to be stuck on the same song. Yes, this song gives me great comfort. It reminds me of Henri. Can you tell me about the gallery? Was the business doing well? The gallery was Henri's baby. He never spoke to me about it. So you weren't involved? Not at all. Business is not my thing. Henri was very brave at the gallery. He tried to stop the thief and paid the ultimate price. Henri was my lion and my little pussycat. 
How are you coping? I'm still trying to take it in, Sherry. Bijou, I think someone involved with the gallery helped the thief. It wasn't Hector Lane. He's not devious enough. But who else? I don't know. But I will get to the bottom of it, I promise you. Do you know this company, Vera Security? No, I don't. I've never heard of them. So? Does this smell good to you? It's heavenly, isn't it? Oh, he loved it. Thank you for your help, Bijou. My pleasure, young man. To come back any time. Bijou appeared to know nothing. I still couldn't discount Lane. Annette, on the other hand, had lied about Vera's security's owner. Night was falling. Annette would have left for the evening. It was time to pay a visit to Vera Security. The empty mall was lit by bright moonlight. The perfect ambiance for a little detective work. I wanted a good look at that back office. I just had to find a way in. There was no way I could force the shutter open with my bare hands. I needed to find another way. It was the shutter control. There was no sign of a button or a keyhole. It must have been controlled remotely. A wire ran up to the electrical box above. There was an electrical box up there, but I couldn't reach it from the ground. The empty box had been left out overnight. No one would have wanted to steal it. I popped the lid open. Inside was an air con unit and, bingo, the master controls for the shutters. The air con blade was exposed. The wire connected the power supply to the air con. It was the master controller for the shutters. It was the motor that operated the shutters. The wire connected the shutter motor to the master controller.
It was the cable from the shutter control. That was close. The wire was live. In the drawer was a single Q-tip. It was my lucky day. It hadn't been used. The room was pitch black. I couldn't see a thing. The corner of the room was a pizza delivery scooter, just like the one the killer had escaped on. There was a letter jammed in the shredder. The shredder was jammed. I tried to free the gears, but they were jammed solid. Its service was long overdue. Oil had dripped from the scooter onto the floor. I smeared some oil onto the cotton bud. I smeared the gears with oil. It was time to see what was in the letter.
It was the letter from Henri confirming that Vera Security had the contract for the exhibition. And it also revealed who was in charge at Vera, a guy called Madofsky. At first glance, it all seemed pretty run of the mill. But why was Henri thanking Madofsky for being generous? And why was he pleased to represent him? Maybe Madofsky was the owner we'd been looking for. It didn't add up. I had a gut feeling. There was something fishy going on. I grabbed the paper clip. It was a pizza delivery scooter. The box was empty. Annette had cleared everything out. Just mess and empty boxes. The air vent had a tiny catch on the side. The paper clip was perfect for the job. There was definitely something in there. Now, what are you gotcha? Well, would you believe it? It was a gun and very likely the one that had been used to shoot Henri. Aha! So, what have we here? L'Américain, Monsieur Stobart. You will rue the day you crossed my path, because now you are caught in my net like a little red herring. Inspector, I'm investigating the robbery. No, Monsieur. You are breaking and entering an innocent storeroom. I found the murder weapon. Found? No. Planted? Yes. Mu, arrest this man and take him to the station. I shall squeeze you, Monsieur Stobart, until your pips squeak. Thanks, Ronnie. I just wish I'd got some better shots of the killer. Are you kidding? That stuff from the hip, very dramatic. You did good, Nico. So, what's next? Get me an interview with the owner, and you've got Sunday's front page. I'm on it already. Keep me up to speed. Let me know before you write anything up, okay? Of course. Oh, gotta go. Someone at the door. Monsieur? Are you Nicole Collard? Yes, can I help you? I need to sit down. You'd better come in. <laughs> <laughs> 